court hearing today could give WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange his final chance to avoid going on trial in the United States. Assange has been in a British prison you, since 2019. He is wanted by the U.S. for leaking secret military files more than a decade ago. MTS Tayeb is in London. MTS, good morning. Good morning. Well, as you can see, a lively crowd of Julian Assange's supporters have gathered here outside London's high court, but he will not attend because his lawyers say he's simply too ill. Now, defenders of the WikiLeaks founders say he's committed no crimes and should be protected by press freedoms. But according to prosecutors in the U.S., Assange seriously violated espionage laws and must face justice in an American court. Julian Assange forcibly dragged from the Ecuadorian embassy in London by British police back in 2019. But his arrest would mark the beginning of what has now become a nearly five-year legal battle, as the 52-year-old Australian fights extradition to the U.S., where he faces 17 charges of espionage and one of misusing a computer for his alleged role in obtaining and disclosing classified material. A judge in London initially blocked Assange's transfer to the U.S., on the grounds that he may kill himself if held in what was described as harsh conditions in American prisons. But a subsequent court cleared the way for the move after U.S. authorities provided assurances over his treatment, leading to today's hearing for an appeal. His wife, Stella Assange, says he should be freed. Julian did the right thing. He received information that was evidence of the, of the United States and other countries committing torture and war crimes. And uh, he performed a public duty, and now he's being punished for it. WikiLeaks became a household name in 2010 when the website... Julian Assange is yet another one of those people that's like, he, yeah, sure, he's a fucking asshole, but, like, he doesn't deserve this. I published hundreds of thousands of classified diplomatic cables. What are your thoughts on RFK? He get my vote? Love him, dude. I love voting for, like, a regular run-of-the-mill, just super basic Democrat who's just an anti-vaxxer and believes in like a litany of different conspiracy theories. It's like, what do I, what do I like about what is Biden? What does Biden need? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I think about all the time. And it's not because like, I want a more dynamic candidate. I want someone who's just, <laughs> who's also very old. Okay. But who's like, uh, had a, a more direct relationship with Jeffrey Epstein and believes in like every fucking psychotic conspiracy theory. Because like when you look at RFK Jr. When you look at RFK Jr. It's like his positions are almost identical to like the regular ass run-of-the-mill Democratic positions. Okay, but then he also is an anti-vaxxer and a crypto bro. Is RFK anti-Israel? Oh, brother, you're about to find out. No, the fuck he's not, okay? No, of course he's not anti-Israel. Are you crazy? Are you on crack? I'm telling you, he's literally identical. His positions are identical to every... He's the average Democrat. He loves Israel. ...files on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. They were obtained with the help of Army Intelligence Analyst Chelsea Manning... My God. ...into a Pentagon computer. Among the files published by WikiLeaks was video of a 2007 Apache helicopter attack by American forces in Baghdad that killed 11 people, including two journalists for the Reuters news agency. That's crazy they're just showing that now and if the London on High TV. Court rejects Assange's Chelsea Manning mentioned, hero, American hero. Um, yeah, Julian Assange is not a good guy uh, across the board, but it doesn't really matter. Um, how's he an asshole? I mean, he is like, he, he definitely is, a um, he's just like an annoying libertarian. I don't care though. I, I actually don't care that he's an annoying libertarian who's like, who has a lot of like right wing tendencies um, because ultimately what matters is what he did and what he's being prosecuted for. And, and the, the reason why he's being prosecuted is because he, because of WikiLeaks, he like published a shit ton of classified intelligence. Do you consider his rape allegations valid? I'm not entirely certain on the, the, rape allegations and the sex pest stuff because like didn't 
some of those people just like come out uh, like didn't those I don't I don't actually know what uh what the the rape allegations uh, were I don't know if they were like faked or not but I'm I think they were dropped but it doesn't even matter because guess what dude that's not what he's being fucking prosecuted for okay Yeah, I think it was, first of all, I will say this much, okay? Before people fucking, uh, you know, go crazy and be like, Assad is a, is a denier or whatever. Um, this is a person that the CIA has openly talked about assassinating. Okay? It's a, it's a person that the CIA has openly talked about. Like, there are direct documented evidence of... People within the CIA talking about like how they want to kill him or how they would kill him potentially. So, uh, so overall, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it a little bit more when I hear accusations about, um, uh, about his his misconduct. And that doesn't even matter because like that's not what he is actually being tried for that's not he that's not what he's like being fucking tried for what he's being tried for is is treason even though as far as i understand he's not even an american citizen and all you need to know is is chelsea friend of the show american hero chelsea manning went back or not treason but uh, espionage um, sorry, but, uh, Chelsea Manning literally went back to prison because she refused to, to, uh, testify against Julian Assange. So, I thought Assange leaked documents indiscriminately. I don't know what that means. Just as Snowden leaked correctly. No, it's fucking bullshit. Why is Snowden uh, in Russia then? For the record, what is going on here as far as like his extradition? Um, for, for those of you uh, who don't understand, this was a position that was too far for even the Obama administration. Okay. And it's not like they're fond of, of uh, whistleblowers, but even internally inside of the Obama administration, I remember um, there were conversations about like not going after him in this way because of how devastating this would be for freedom of the press in general, because it would be a very damaging precedent for free press. So I think that, um, you know, I mean, it's obviously the, the fact that like the fact that this is even a point of contention means that there isn't like the free press that we claim that we have, obviously. But having said that, uh, I think following through on this and like actually going to court and prosecuting him on this for WikiLeaks would be genuinely devastating. plea for a full appeal he could be extradited to the u.s in a matter of weeks where if convicted he could receive a prison sentence of up to 175 years jerico yeah but who cares about free press nowhere has actual free press it's just varying degrees of tolerated press yes but this is like greatly increasing the intolerance of press the united states of america for for all of its faults and failures at least has some degree of protections okay and when it doesn't we at least have the, uh, the, the freedom to criticize it, fight against it, combat it. My entire existence as a career political commentator relies on this, okay? I don't think you guys understand. The thing that I'm doing here in the United States of America, I'm only allowed to do because America is the hegemonic superpower. That's number one. Make no mistake. I completely understand that. But what you also fail to recognize, I guess, is anywhere else around the world, I am not able to do this. I am not able to do this at all. Okay, I can't do this in Turkey. 
without going to prison. I can't do this in China. I can't do this anywhere else. You can do that in every European country. Yeah. Fair. To a certain degree, though. Because even other European countries have more restrictive, uh, more, more restrictions like Germany. Think about the, think about the amount of Israel-Palestine coverage I've done. Think about the amount of Israel-Palestine coverage I've done. I would have gotten in fucking actual trouble. Like, I would have been hit with, like, a hate crime uh, charge for anti-Semitism or something like that. We're, we're talking about, like, EU countries that are, uh, that are basically greatly expanding on the, 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 uh, the existing censorship rules that they have and restrictions that they have. Not to the same degree, for the record. I don't think that it, it's, like, that severe. Obviously, there's still plenty of my uh, friends... Literally, my peers, my friends that live in the UK, for example, and do pretty decent work. Um, but huh. I found out that. There's, I found an insane statistic the other day. Did you guys know that 37% of those that were arrested in Germany for anti-Semitism since October 7 protests began, like post-October 7, like the anti-Israel protests began, 37% were Jewish in Germany. The German Jew population is 1%. 1% of the German population is Jewish. They comprise 37% of those who were arrested for anti-Zionist protests. That is... Like, how does that not put things into a framework that you can understand. Everybody knows about World War II, right? Everybody knows about the Holocaust. Everybody knows what Germany did. Are you out of your fucking mind? You're, you're doing the thing, Germany. You're doing the thing that you were doing. There wasn't a source for this. Oh, did I get fake news? Let me let me look this up. I th well, I saw it from. Uh... Hold on. Thank you, Chatter, for correcting me. If I got Joe Rogan, I can't find a German source. The term "fake news" is so funny. Hold up, thirty-seven percent. Let's see. Here's the U.S. ambassador in the U.N. after the U.S. veto. No, I mean, it could be. Israeli Jew Hadass was arrested yesterday by Berlin police for holding this sign. Yeah, this is from uh, the the only thing that the only like valid source on this is just this one person that was arrested, and then the um, the the uh, the the quote tweet is Germany's Jews represent one percent of its population, but thirty seven percent of those who were arrested for anti Semitic offenses. Um, a few replies asked for a source, which is fair enough. I saw the figure on Twitter yesterday, but doing a bit of digging, it may be conflating arrests, detentions, and various other less severe sanctions while keeping the rough proportions intact. Let's see. 
Sweden might be becoming more racist, but you would 100% be able to do what you do. I love Rogan as a verb. Verb, I got Roganed. I found a Guardian article, which has a similar number. According to the researcher Emily Disha Becker, almost a third of those canceled in Germany for supposed anti-Semitism have been Jews. Denouncing critics of Israel as un-Jews or anti-Semites as is a perversion of history, says Keenan Malik. Um, here. In the news here, don't cover this. They describe it as supporting terrorism, or they don't talk about it at all. Yeah. That's why I love you, Hassan, and trust on what you say. You can admit when you get something wrong, you're awesome. Yes. I, I've seen, I've seen news, like I've seen Jewish people get arrested in Germany in their uh, pro-Palestinian protests, but I did not know what the percentage was, but it made sense to me, but it could be, it could be uh, incorrect for sure. Germany has prescribed many criticisms of Israel, such as describing the treatment of Palestinians as apartheid and banning many expressions of solidarity with the Palestinian cause. The main target has been Muslims, but Jewish supporters of Palestinian rights have also been deplatformed and arrested. According to the researcher Emily Disha Becker, almost a third of those canceled in Germany for their supposed anti Semitism have been Jews. Yeah, that's different. Canceled is different than arrested. Now you're going to get clips saying incorrect information and your haters are going to go nuts over it and again to it. They'll still clip you out of context and add this to the Hassan doesn't know what he's talking about compilation. It doesn't matter, chat. Then fucking be better. Clip the rest of this and go, oh, the, the information was incorrect and he very quickly corrected himself. You guys are, it's one statistic. I'm not always going to fucking get shit uh, off the dome correct. The fuck? Stop fighting invisible demons in your mind. A person in Nefcord said their data shows you are 10% of Twitch clips. Wait, what? What does that even mean? Are they clipping me at the top of the hour to showcase my incredible three minute ad breaks? If that's true, that's fucking bananas. Yeah. They're saying 10% of all Twitch clips are of your stream. I don't know where they actually find that data. I don't know how they would be able to find that data. I feel like that's probably not true. But if it is, it makes sense. Probably because, you know, I got a lot of people who fucking clip my shit. What you don't understand about the German people in the situation is that they actually got to watch the Super Bowl champs in person this year. Incredible stuff. Go Chiefs. What? Anyway. Clip talking about the clip thing. Here, honestly, it's Miz who was attracted to you. We've all seen him slip up multiple times with pictures of you open on. Thanks, man. That's a really good clip. There's no way that's accurate. There are substantially more coomers on this site than your hate watchers. Yes.
I clip your turkey jokes and send it to my Turkish friends. Good. Canceled with use of the term because it's describing people losing their jobs or having even shows, events canceled. Yeah. All right. Anyway, how the fuck did we get here? Because we were talking about Julian Assange. America still has, at least to some degree, regular, like, as long as you're not leaking uh, classified intelligence or whatnot, and that's still journalism and should be protected, by the way. Um, for the most part, you're not going to go to jail. Whereas... In other places, in other places, you will get into more legal trouble. Plenty of countries where you will, you could even go to jail. Okay. This is pretty fucking devastating <clears throat> in general. And Julian Assange should be freed. It is ridiculous because if Julian Assange is prosecuted to this degree, if Julian Assange is prosecuted to this degree for simply publishing classified intelligence that showed America's war crimes, which is why he is being hunted down by the American government across the board for like three different administrations now. The reason why he's being hunted and, and persecuted in this regard is because he published classified intelligence. Not the Democratic Party stuff. I'm, this is, this uh, predates the... WikiLeaks exposing the DNC. They want to make an example out of him, and it will have a chilling effect on journalism in general, real journalism in general. Journalism is already dog shit in this fucking country because of so many people doing access journalism. It's one of the things I hate the most. It's why I uh, have a, a shit ton of respected journalists that I have on this broadcast that I'm fortunate enough to be able to have on this broadcast. Because I think that it's still a very important profession, very important. It has a very it serves a very important role in a democracy. Okay, even if it's a theoretical democracy, it does not matter. Um, I think it's it's absolutely unimaginable that they're they're being hunted down like this. <clears throat> 